Hello and welcome back to another Ash Wednesday and today I'm here with Dr. Arye Mittman. He is a member of our scientific advisory board here at Jigsaw Health and also he is a pain relief specialist. So hey Arye, how are you? I am awesome, thank you so You're always awesome. Here. Yeah. So today I want to talk about magnesium. There are different forms, different ways to get it into your body and kind of your expert opinion on that. Um, I know you can get it through food, mm -hmm. and you can get it through supplementation, mm -hmm. and you can also get it intravenously Absolutely. Um, through an IV. So when you're dealing with your patients, what is your protocol for making sure they're getting what they need? Well, Ashley, it's an awesome question. It's one that honestly I do get a lot, uh, just in general, you know, how should I get my vitamins and minerals? So I like to think of it as a three-pronged approach, which is exactly what you just talked about. So food, oral supplementation, and then IVs. So let's talk about the first one. So you should be getting the bulk of your nutrition through your food that you're eating. The right. thing is, a lot of us are eating on the go. We're eating nutrient-poor food, and a lot of that is leading to our digestive tracts may not be working at their optimal capacity. So right. you just might not be getting everything that you need from your food. And then let's just jump ahead to the IV, because I think that's an interesting one, and it kind of plays into this. So yeah. when you bypass the digestive tract, when you go straight into the blood supply, you're able to saturate the tissue, you're able to get every cell in the body a mega dose of vitamins. Now, that's fantastic. The thing is, is that you're not gonna walk around every day with an IV in your arm. I like to use IVs when people are coming down from a cold, when it's coming up on cold and flu season, like if coworkers or family right. members are sick, um, or if you're traveling, because that's one of the worst places to be, is sitting in like a little cigar, 30,000 feet up, breathing everyone else's oh, everything. Boy. Um, yeah, and that's when your immune system is really under attack the most. Right. So you got to call in the big guns. Absolutely. Um, so I like to think of the IV as the ER. You know, it's something emergent and you need it done today. Now, the oral supplementation is kind of like working with a wellness professional to make sure that you're working at optimal capacity. Preventative maintenance, so to exactly. speak. Exactly. So okay. by taking a really high quality supplement, you're able to give your body that constant drip, drip, drip of nutrition. Um, and so that's going to be where you're able to, over time, keep those levels of vitamins and nutrients at their optimal dose. Got it. So sometimes if someone comes in and they maybe haven't been taking the best care of themselves for the past year or so, you want to start them off on the IV and then you work into making sure that they're eating like nutrient dense foods, eating the whole rainbow, getting the phytochemicals from dark leafy greens and uh, vegetables and fruits. and then. Um, that's where you start the oral supplementation. And that's a really important point to make is that you need to make sure that you're taking a high quality nutrient. That um, is absorbable. Absolutely. Right. And for vitamin C and magnesium in particular, it's hard to take oral therapeutic doses, which honestly is one of the reasons that I'm such a huge fan of Jigsaw. Um, I can take massive amounts of magnesium when I'm feeling that like tax of uh, you know, Stress. exactly. It's just I can yeah. actually I can see the amount that I can comfortably take go up based on how much stress my body is under. Without sending you running to the bathroom, right? It's the goal. Because you're too busy for that. I don't got time for that. <laughs> Perfect. And before we go, I know that there is also a topical way to uh, use magnesium as well. Yeah, and uh, just like some of the topical, you know, strong pain relieving drugs, which you wouldn't want to take orally, the topical magnesium is really, really fantastic because you can put it exactly where you need right. it. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Mittman, for joining us today, and we will see you next Wednesday. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you like it, please share it and we'll see you next week.